What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee and Rusty from Champions Chat, and we are on the live uh, official Twitch channel with a bunch of our friends hanging out, and we are going to power rate Razar. This is the character you're going for this month. This is your chase character, but are they any good? Question mark. Huh? Huh? Gumsy? Uh, you need to put the, the comment on the YouTube video with the link in there. Put your gum Z in there on Twitch. We got two more to give away. So, Rusty, powerhouse chase characters tend to be awesome. Disappointing. You... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, was, I know we're talking about Zombie Cody. I was, I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Ooh. You can't, awesome. you can't hide the truth. The truth will always find you, won't it? <laughs> oh, oh, we should power rate Zombie Cody at some point. Uh, I, you I just think... want to see me cry on stream. Is that your goal? Now that the gear only got red MP instead of all MP? You just want wow. me to have like the worst night since the Muscle Man High Rollers loot? You just want to see me drink my <laughs> own tears to cry? <laughs> snot cry? Blur, blur, blur. Oh, my goodness. That's right. Well, here's what we're running him with. Uh, the first and kind of the main move set most are going to see. This is the one BDC called out in our big chat. Power player, awesome dude. Uh, on the bottom here, a 6 MP green, one handed pop up spine buster, deal damage, and quite a bit of it right there, and increase your red MP by 10. Hardcore, if your opponent's class is acro, deal damage and force your opponent to skip their turn. So. Acrobat Destroyer right there. Uh, then you've got the Samoan Drop. Deal damage. Make 24 random gems into X break. And the Fall Away Slam. 8 MP red. Both of those deal the same amount of damage plus bonus damage for every X break gem. So as always, we're rating them post 99 MP. Which means on your Entourage... We've got to put your MP trainer. So George the Animal Steel to get the one-handed pop-up going. However, when we get to the speed category, note that while the other two are 8 MP, that green move flawlessly charges them up. So so it's not like you're having to wait turns to get in there. Now, Rusty, you mentioned Akam a minute ago, but I don't yeah. have him on here. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I, mean, I do notice you have that rework anniversary edition DDP. Yeah. Is I'm assuming that's intentional. Um, yeah. It's okay. So walk us through that. So Akum works if you're running triple red, which chooses a four by four area into purple gems. Um, and that is a valid move set. However, really high charge, eight, eight, and 10. Uh, what Akum does differently than DDP, both of them do X Break Gems 50% more damage. So that's the same. Akum adds two red MP on the charge. So that does alleviate a little bit of that red miss right there so that you can still theoretically start loaded turn one, but the finisher still doesn't start loaded turn one in most modes. But what DDP does differently is Akum only creates two X Break Gems might go to three on his top end, but DDP's is four. And you are doing damage per X break gem. So DDP, I think, okay. is the better play. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Akum. Yeah, I know. We, we've been messing up the pronunciation a lot. And then pretty no, much no, from I there. Think, I think we've been saying it right. I think, uh, I think well, somebody I was, was spelling Akum it wrong before. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I remember but with the start of the month, I was saying Akum. Yeah. yeah, we both were. We didn't know. Yep, 2-Bob with Roxanne and Akum. You can use the red moves twice on one turn. I can show that. Roxanne is a very rare trainer. Um, so I can show that for our second move set. but I'm going to move on this one real quick here. So Zombie Kane, X-Breaks do 25% and create one more. And then Omos for X-Break do 100%. So this is, oh, I'm sorry. And then on the plate, um, you don't need this. So this isn't going into the power rating as you got to have this. These are just bonuses. But the two wards for you, you just create extra X-Break gems, hopefully. 
and then at the end of your turn blowing up black you create red just helps with you know your recycle you could do blow up black get green uh, but he's blowing up pretty much the whole board so no matter what you put in there you're going to be fine underdog story i think is more common than deafening silence plus it's his primary color that's my reasoning um, but we are not going up against an acro so the stun lock try this again do i not have him on the match yet <laughs> I don't. Well, maybe I can here. All right, Rusty, vamp for a minute for me, bud, because I'm... Uh... Yeah, and so uh, two questions. Number one, in the chat, um, are you on pace? Do you think you'll recruit um, Razar this I month? Will. will you max the MLC? Second question uh, to the chat is, um, are you liking uh, Akum? Do you think he's uh, a great free MLC superstar? Because we rated him, right, early? Was he the first yeah. one we ever did, Lee, with power ratings? Not and, the um, no, well, the first uh, first free. I think he's our lowest, did. though. I think isn't he our low, current lowest power rated character? I think he is. He is. Yeah. Um, so it'll be curious to see where Rizar ranks in comparison to Hake. That's yeah. that's a little bit of my vamping. No, uh, you're, I love you're this, good. though. So Arcade says, I've never maxed an MLC. Um, we we are here for you. This is why we do what we do. Because once upon a time, I had never maxed an MLC. And I asked my friend Lee, can you teach me how to do it? And that's basically how our content in this channel started. <laughs> so. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is kind of that's kind of how this went. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the two words went off. I, I did the green move as if, because uh, I'm not going to go try and find an acro. It'll take way too much time, but you can just know that you would have stunned them. But if we're past the 99 MP era, then you uh, would need that to get your moves going. And the two words for you did go off. So that added two more gems to our total damage right there. Then you're going to drop all of those X break gems. Now you're going to hit this and you're doing. 287k per x break gem this is all six bronze by the way um i have not done on the main account him with with that but you're talking 9.4 right there um so in the the 20 million range uh if if it scales accordingly plus you're dropping those reds plus you're blowing up the board for another three so easily easily wipes them out quick plus they're stun locked good to go lc blue did you get anything good first time winning that's awesome so i'm gonna set up two bobs build uh i'm gonna set up two bobs build but did you know uh before becoming a cc official cc i won a gerson uh one of these one time a giveaway and really? i won a dj one one time ladies and gentlemen so dj i don't know if he's gonna be able to stream tonight He's oh, in his oh that's right. He's earlier. at uh, C2E2. He's in a, like a comic con. Yeah, in Chicago. Yeah. And he is in full LA Knight cosplay. Um, yep. Incredible. Incredible costume. So I hope, I don't know, I hope he's on stream in that costume. Or I hope photos begin to surface of him. Because well, it is really. in it's, our chat, but we can't. We can't I was say, it actually looks, and it looks, it looks as good as his Logan Paul Oh, outfit. yeah. And, and but maybe better because uh, of his resemblance to L.A. Knight. It's really cool. OK, I see what. So two Bob, you're still you're in the chat with me here. You said run Akam and Roxanne, but we're running triple red. Right. Or did I miss did I miss that? Oh, so still use the green move. Okay, so it's the same move set, just run Roxanne. Okay, thank you for that clarification. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. DJ just needs to rip off his shirt. Hey, I did Which, it when I pulled the Hogan. And Which I Hogan was it? Was it the zombie? Like acro house. zombie Hogan? Oh, for DJ? Yeah, he pulled a yeah, six silver. He yeah. He pulled a six silver zombie Hogan. He's my best new. Hogan now. At least my highest talent Hogan. 
because he's at six silver. I don't think I have right. another Hogan at six silver. Okay, so what Two Bob is saying here is with Roxanne, you would be able to buff, you basically throw these out. So you're throwing out your X breaks, right? You're hitting the damage right here. This would all be turn one, even post 99 MP. So you've hit the damage marker. Now you're going to reload them again. Yep. Yep. Just like you have now. Two Bob, you're, you're appreciate that. You're awesome. It's uh, Then you're going to throw out more. These are going to overwrite. So it's not a guarantee they're going to go into the all the missing. Oh, actually, I was wrong. It exactly fills the board. Hey, ooh. ooh. Ooh, I that's, need Roxanne. That's saucy. I need Roxanne. Roxanne. I know a certain guy that has Roxanne on his roster. Yeah, but he's you he's, sure. he's not a very competitive player. He's not a he only has a roster hanging around six million, a little over, little under six million, right at under over six million, somewhere around there. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean that was that was destruction right there. So I am gonna have to dock him on uh, versatility because Roxanne is not. Not the most readily available character, but on the power rating here, we can very clearly see he does more than 30 million. So, yes, hits more than 30. No question there. Power is a five. Pretty easy. Pretty okay. straightforward. Let me get a poll ready, friendo. For speed. For speed. For speed. Because and while you already... are doing that, I'm going to take a look at his trainer ability because I can't frankly remember what it is. I haven't got him yet. So, Hip Designer says plus one to power, minus one to versatility. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is going to be we... a two minute vote. Two minute vote, and it will close. It yep. is live. Two minute vote on speed. Keep in mind. His moves charge based off of the green. So even though these are 8 MP, the green is the one that matters because it brings them all turn one. If it weren't and turn one, if it didn't MP? buff it up. Six? Okay. I six. Like six MP. Yeah. So like that. that's the main, that's what matters there. We are having a nasty hailstorm outside. Oh, wow. By the way. I wondered. I, and you know what, Lee? When you read those first triple red numbers, the MP, I was thinking. Those are zombie Cody numbers. Those are outrageous. <laughs> but, okay, so his trainer ability, purple gems do 50% more damage. Yellow moves start with two. Please don't beat up my wife's van. I don't two. know if you can hear that, but we are getting slammed with hail. Oh, yeah, I hear it. Yellow gotcha. moves start with, you think it's baseball size hail? No, no, no. They're they're pea-sized right now, but it doesn't matter. My wife's oh, okay. car's outside. Yeah, well, some some P is bigger than others. So you got yellow moves start with two and purple wow. gen. Who does yellow and purple? Who's like a booyaka? Like this is gonna drop right into and help. Well, is there anybody you can think of? Conveniently, it's Akum. <laughs> but pause. Yeah, that's right. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I thought you were so gonna just... say Hall of Fame Rey Mysterio. I thought I, like oh, yeah. I was expecting you to say something like that. Yeah, that would work too. No, let's not have softball size pale, please. All right, so the speed poll is about to close here. And it's uh, it's unanimous. I mean, it's almost unanimous. What was the speed? Uh, four. And with twelve votes, eighty percent votes. Eighty percent said four. Interesting. So at least two of the fall th things are true. MP is seven or less. Moves recycle flawlessly. Animations are quick. Win in under 60 seconds in feud. Okay. Let's hope it's not an insurance claim. We actually got dropped by our insurance because we had two incidents last year. So we are on like the, the uh-oh insurance right now. So I would like to not have any claims, please. The next category is readiness. Correct? Readiness? Yeah. Readiness. Verified? Readiness. Character needs... Not versatility. Don't no. you tell me versatility after I click publish. <laughs> oh. I think wow. I can hear... I think that... I can hear the hail in my in my ears, man. Like, because I've got you on pretty high uh, gain here. I can hear the little tick, 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 tick. Yeah. Well, it's hitting my uh, my, my fireplaces right here. So it's, it's ting, 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 and up that. But... You need yeah, Jake you can hear it, guys. Farm? 
You're going to have to call Jake? I no, I, again, we're on we're on the worst insurance because we oh, we got dropped. The general? Oh, okay. No, not anyway. even the general. We're on one I've never even heard <laughs> oh, of. Oh man. <laughs> so <insurance> anyway, so. <laughs> readiness. Character needs zero to one special things. Well, he needs Akum. The plates he doesn't really I mean, they're just bonus. There's not really like he doesn't need need them. Uh, four would be character needs two special things, plate gear moment. There's not a moment or gear yet. And then three would be character needs three special things. Uh, Bo uh, Bob says, yeah, he needs Akum and Roxanne. Yep, Readiness exactly. poll is live. Cast your okay, votes. What was, the, what was the readiness? Oh, it's live, but it's, yeah. It's live. It's coming in. Yeah, Al Pacino vote. says it's press and votes. vote and doesn't work. Oh, what? So we might need to do this one a little more old school. Wait, well, it's working for me. There's coming. I've got five live votes. Okay. Works DM fine for me. Maybe hit works. refresh. Okay, we got seven votes now. So no, it's okay, going. There we go. It's cooking. Um, if it doesn't work, hit a, a refresh to the browser. There you go. Uh, yeah, I can tell. I can tell on this side of the screen. It's, it's it sounds not. like a little woodpecker outside your screen window. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what's the result of the readiness poll, Rusty? Four? Uh, 64% yeah. say four. Yep, I, I would agree 100%. That, that would be where I'd put him there. Voted four. Hey, if you got so bad versatility. Insurance, you got bad insurance. You drive it to the bad part of town, leave the keys in it. And just uh, walk away. <laughs> I like our van, though. Report, report Ads it. are back. Oh, man. Ads are here. <laughs> Sorry, we can't control that, guys. Well, I'll get uh, the poll ready during the ad, so that's fine. And okay. this poll is going to be for oh, what? To please? Bob. Tell us what you think on Entourage before you step away. <laughs> Versatility. Right? Versatility. Com character is completely competitively usable in Feud, Boss, and Showdown. Character has special gem types that help in Extreme Rules. Would be a five. Four Poles character. Live. Thank you. Polls live. Four right. would be characters competitively usable in two of the modes and have gems that help in Extreme Rules. And three is character is competitively usable in one. Feud, boss, or showdown, but that's it. Um, character may be a sleeper occasionally for boss. So if there's a boss that has crossbreak gems, this is your guy. And then some, right? Or X-break, sorry. X-break gems. This is your guy. I mean, extreme Currently, rules, this is your guy. Kurt Angle is my guy. Intelligence, intensity. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, 6MP is going to make sure that he's usable in Showdown. We didn't look at his, his link with, uh, with Akum, but uh, it is any color finishers do 100% more damage, which is not really helping anything on that, which is weird because, yeah, it's just weird. It's just weird. I'm eating the least sneaky snack in the world. It's chips and queso from the Mexican <laughs> restaurant down the ooh, street. <laughs> ooh, I love chips and queso. In case anybody's wondering, like, why does he keep ducking down? <laughs> why is he doing this? And why I keep muting the mic because it's so loud. Like, reaching right. in the paper bag of chips and then crunching them. Oh, my gosh. Right. But, uh, well, while, yeah, I think it's basically unanimous. Seven, which is what? 78% four. Really? Yeah. One, five, one, three. That's it. Okay. One more vote came in. Yeah, 78%. Oh, somebody changed. That's okay. There was a vote change to three. Somebody's like, nah, I like three better. But still, it's 70%. Okay. Uh, four. I, that's not one I'm going to speak up and veto, so I'm all right with that. Entourage ability is our last one. And while Rusty's building out the entourage ability, let me remind you, we still have two more uh, that we're going to do after this video and after my polls, uh, two more giveaways. The way you get in is to go to the break it down video from Champions Chat on the Great Muda, put a comment with your Twitch username. So, uh, you know, DN Grubbs underscore needs to show that. Al Pacino needs to show it how you have it. Hip Designer needs to show it as you have it. 
so that we make sure we know who we got and what we're doing. I post, and I uh, uh, put a link in the chat, but the poll is pinned, but the link to that video is in the chat. There you go. Thank you. And the poll is live. So his entourage ability, again, is 50% purple gem damage. As a trainer, yellow moves start with two. 50% as a trainer, wow. 50% yellow moves start with 50% purple gem two. damage? Yes. I like that. That's that's actually, like at six star silver, that would be the highest yep. possible gem yep. damage. Yes. That's, that seems really good. So you're gonna you're gonna want that. I mean, so the the way we break these down, five points, essential trainer coaching ability, adds something you don't want to go into battle without. Uh, the four would be widely used trainer coaching ability, helps the character it's being used reach their full potential. Or three would be a niche trainer ability, coaching ability, doesn't get used much, but very valuable when needed. So my argument is what you just said. 50% breaks the six star silver, which theoretically would be the six star gold b barrier as well, that that is more than a 12K trainer. So you're always going to use him instead of a 12K trainer. And Rusty, we have done how many episodes of the Champions Chat podcast where we have told everybody to take up their their 50 per, or their uh, their flat okay. gym trainers? RIP Zombie Drew, your days are numbered. Yeah, Belusky, refresh real quick, or just just tell us in the comments if it goes away too quick. We've got eleven votes. Eleven votes have come in. The winner, seventy three percent of Entourage, five. was five. Yeah, five. Yep. Better than twelve so, K. Plus, adds MP, which the twelve K flat trainers do not. Yeah, and I've and I, what my my, th my theory is, if if someone is going to be a five, they better give me at least two MP. Like, they better be, you know, an MP feud trainer to get me to six, and then whatever else they do is probably going to be incredible with it. But that's for me. That's the barrier of entry for a five. Is like, do they do two to four MP? They don't no, they're they're automatically not a five for me. Right. Well, I just want to point out the insanity of this. That puts <laughs> Rezar in the conversation of our top guys. And I don't I don't think I enjoy him as much. I don't think he's on the level of DDP or Austin for sure, but the numbers don't lie. He is in the conversation of our top guys. In fact, we rated the Great Muda a 20 out of 25 and Razar a 22 Oof. out of 25. Well, that's because there's more to this game than just, as our friend Cesaro calls it, big damage, right? Yeah. We, don't, we like, you can be a really big damage superstar that doesn't help your the rest of your roster. So when we look at a high score, they're going to help in many formats and they're going to help many other superstars and they're going to be ready to work right out of the box. And yeah, I mean, that's it. That's it. They help your team. They're not just, so yeah, think about that. Um, Latrell Sprewell is a great example of a superstar that never won because he did not make the team better. Carmelo Anthony never won it. Never made the team better, right? So, you, you, you know, that might be your great Muda, right? Somebody who's just a lone tall tower, but they don't make the city, right? Is that is that kind of a, a metaphor that makes sense? You know what I'm saying? Especially in uh, basketball if terms. If you're asking me, I don't sports ball. So you said a lot of words that I <laughs> literally have Carmelo no... Carmelo Anthony was a Denver Nugget. Your, I, I went Carmelo with your Hayes. city. Carmelo no, okay, Hayes is yes. an NXT character. Right, right. Wrong Carmelo. <laughs> Wrong Carmelo. <laughs> oh. Well, that's it for this uh, power ranking. I think this is going to surprise a lot of people. That Reza It surprises me quite a lot that Razar ranked higher than Muda. Uh, but here's the thing. Right. Both had five on power, right? 
both uh, on speed, we had four there and three here. I personally would have put Muda as a four, but that was not what the community said. And we have some good, crazy stuff there that, you know, people know what they're saying. Um, he is very slow because of the clicky clicky. Um, on the the uh, versus the readiness scale, uh, we put a four for uh, Rezzer because he needs Roxanne and, not Adam, Acum. Stop that. Um, and I don't have Roxanne. So, I mean, I'm in the category of going, yeah, I can't run him to his best ability. And that's probably mm -hmm. why I didn't like him as much when I was playing with him because I didn't use Roxanne on my there trailers. Uh, uh, then for Muda on versatility, a four out of uh, five. We think he's going to be good in at least feud, boss, or showdown, two of the three. Uh, with Rezar, same thing. And then with the entourage ability, we put five on Rezar, where it's a three for Muda. So can Muda hit harder than Rezar? 100%. Clearly. So don't lose sight of the fact that a 20 versus a 22, uh, Rezar is there because of his entourage ability and speed being higher, but Muda can still hit harder by a country mile. So there you go. Yeah, I bet you... Yeah, but here's the thing. More of the community is going to get Rizar. So I'm okay yeah. with this rating. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I want ultra rare superstars having the highest rating and ones that don't help the rest of my roster. Right? Yeah. So I'm okay. I, I like. I really like this score. And I really like gotcha. what it tells us about this Chase superstar. Well, that's awesome. Well, that's it for this week's power ratings. Next week, we are going to put Seth freaking Rollins showboat <laughs> up against road dog showboat to see the best the and the worst. <laughs>